In this video, we will show you how to write pickup measures within your score and everything else you need to know about pickups. When setting up your score using the score wizard, you can add the pickup at the beginning of the score. Generally, the last measure has to be shortened by the note value of the pickup measure. Our example shows that Forte has already optimized the first and the last measure. In the middle of our song, there's a repeat. That means that the measure containing the repeat must be shortened. The song has a two quarters signature. The pickup contains two sixteenth notes amounting to the value of one eighth note. In measure six, there's a quarter rest instead of the required eighth rest. In the following measure, we will have a new pickup of one eighth note. All other measures return to the original two quarters time signature. Let us look at the input palette. In the tab Meter, there are all options that we will need. At first, we will enter a two quarters meter and measure eight. This way, we won't mess up the following measures. This can be critical if you've already written notes into the later measures. Select the two quarters meter from the input palette and add it to the score with a click. Now, let us add the correct meter for measure six the last measure before the repeat sign. We will need a 3 8 note meter. Enter the values 3 and 8 into the respective custom field of the meter tab. Add the custom meter to measure 6. Please note that custom meters are only available in Forte Home and Forte Premium. Now we will need a 1 8 note meter for measure 7. That is the mock pickup measure of the second part of our song. Let's enter the notes for the rest of our song. Subsequently, we will hide the time signatures. Double click on the element and open the properties window with a right click. Select the tab General and check the box Hidden. Repeat this procedure for all other time signatures. As our final step, let us polish over our layout and edit the spaces of the notes and the sizes of the measures. To reposition an element, please click on the element. It should turn red now that it's marked. Press CTRL and keep CTRL pressed while using the arrow keys to reposition the element to the desired place.